All right, so here is how I make the videos that are like this, where it's, you know, the, my videos up here, but I have some words uh, down here or down up there. I mean, basically, how do I, how do I easily make this kind of video? Uh, and the way I do it is in a tool, a free tool called Capwing, capwing.com. And so once I log into capwing.com, you know, create an account, log in, I just have the I don't have the pro. I, I tried the pro, but you know, I feel like the free is enough. The limitation on the free is that um, you can only do up to seven minutes of video. So that's why it's also a good thing for me to keep my short videos under seven minutes. I time myself, you know. So basically, once I log into Capwing, I click on new project, and then I click on start with studio. You could also try use specific tool or choose a template. Uh, really, you should explore these. Um, they might be fun for you to do. But I just kind of, I'm very basic and I just start with the studio. And then once I am here, all I do is I click on upload, click to upload. And then I choose a uh, video from my computer. You have to have the video downloaded to your computer. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually, um, give me a second here. I'm, I'm choosing a video that is very easy to upload. So there it is. Okay. So um, the video has been uploaded, or the video, I'm sorry, the video is uploading right now. But even while the video is uploading, I can move things around. I can drag, drag the corners. Uh, so you can, as you can see here, there are corners. And I'm just going to drag the corner up, OK, until I'm, you know, OK. And you can kind of drag it out, drag it in, you know, do whatever you want. But they, they kind of snap in and tell you where, where, where the center is. So I'm just going to drag it down like that. And then after that, I just click on the, the word text up here, the text button. I click on that, and that brings a little text box here. And I just bring that down here, and I start typing. Um, authentically, how to authentically, how to authentically show case, show your expertise. Now, I've noticed one strange thing is that sometimes when I upload to certain places, they cut out like slightly the bottom of it. So I, I kind of always keep it slightly a little bit higher um, like that. And if I want to make it more space between the two lines, um, on the right hand side, let me go ahead and just uh, show you all. On the right hand side, whoops, click on the text. On the right side, I can change the font. Uh, type font size, I can bold it or whatever. Well, that looks probably a little bit nicer. That's a little bit too loud for me. Okay, I could text outline this basically means like here, you want it light, you want it dark, you know, the, you can just play around. But here, it doesn't matter because it's black text on white background. Oh, here it is. Oops, click on it again. Line height down here. Okay, line height, if it's 1.15, it's a little bit more pleasant looking. One and a half is okay too. Um, you know, I think 1.15 is good for me. And then, uh, you know, you could test different things. I haven't tried a lot of the fancy things here, um, but that's very simple. And then the other thing I do is I, I want to add my own name down here. So I add another text, bring it down here. I take out the uh, text outline. I make it white text instead. And I type in George Cow Authentic Business coach and uh, I make the text uh, something like 14 and then I drag the corner so that it's you know just like that make it centered and the last thing I do and I click on the, the dark gray area just just unselect everything and then I put the output size as 9 by 16 that way 9 by 16 can be uploaded as an IGTV video so IGTV requires uh, 9 by 16 or 16 by 9. Obviously, in this case, that wouldn't make sense. So 9 by 16 in this case. So depending on your video, if your video is landscape, then you probably do 16 by 9. But otherwise, if it's a vertical video, I do 9 by 16. And then other than that, and I just realized there are padding here. Whoops. Remove padding. Okay, bottom. Okay. Um, other than that, I just basically click export video. And then it's uh, your watermark free content is being processed. And then it's basically just, you know, processing. And this sometimes will take, you know, 10, five minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, and once it's done, uh, I will, uh, there will be a screen uh, that says where I can 
click download or export the video, which you can't see right now because it's still, it's still uploading. So that is pretty much how I do it. It's very easy with Canva, or sorry, not Canva, Capwing. I just saw the chat, someone mentioned Canva and I haven't, I, I went to Canva to try, uh, try something like this and I, maybe I didn't spend enough time looking at it. So I just already knew how to do Capwing. So I just have always used Capwing. So I hope this helps and yeah, you can add whatever you want to I didn't show you adding logos. You can add, you know, additional clips in the front, in the end. I keep it super, super easy and simple, but you can do fancy things. So with that, I want to end the video by showing you what I actually do when I download it. But uh, let me go ahead and just um, pause this recording for a second here. Okay, so basically once it is done, uh, I'm gonna just pause the video on the left. Once it's done processing, it'll look something like this. And this is where I can click download to basically download the file to my computer so that I can upload it anywhere else. Or I can say, oh, I made a mistake and I can click on edit to go back to that previous screen. I don't know what make a copy means, but um, this, don't worry about these. I don't worry about these other things. I just basically download it and that's how I, that's how I make it. So there you go. I hope this helps.